Oh, hello, hello. Hello, Melinda. I am trying to put something up on YouTube since I'm missing all of my online with you guys to see if I can get this to work. Hello, Gilbert. I need to talk to you later. <laughs> all right. And uh, Maureen, hello, hello. I am going to a little painting like a live YouTube to see if I can get through it and say streaming. So you have to let me know if I freeze. Um, and uh, you finally got me live. Well, <laughs> I'm finally on live. It's been um, almost, what, six days of not having equipment at work. And I upgraded. This is my fatal mistake. I upgraded and look at me now <laughs> trying to trying to get it all on so I can share with you guys. So I just want you to know a couple of crazy things have happened. I have have had no internet so I can work with you guys and come on. And I, I missed Relax and Paint. I missed uh, today's uh, practice stroke. But I promise you, I'm coming on to do this so that I can personally tell you that I'm alive and I'm still working. It's just, I've been handicapped with technology. And so I'm hoping that this goes on. It doesn't freeze, that you can see what I'm going to teach you tonight. Um, and that you have positive thumbs up for me because I need it with this craziness. And I have lots to film and get ready to put on, but my techie assistance on a well needed vacation and she doesn't get back till next Tuesday. So I'm going to do this so that I can say I'm here. And I just also want you to know if I, it came at a very bad time because so many people who have been joining my um, one stroke advantage membership, which is brand new, um, are worried that, oh my gosh, she's only going to make you pay to see her, but I, and not do my free anymore, but I am going to still do everything I've always done. I'm still going to have my Wednesdays and my Fridays and, uh, and a few in between, and I'm not changing that. So please don't spread bad rumors because we're hearing that and it's not true. I am still not going to, maybe I'm trying to make sure that Wednesday comes up, but I will make up for this week. I promise by putting extras on next week. Um, and as long as technology, technology works my way. And Gilbert says, we know you're difficult. It's when yourself have to go live. Technology. I know. Well, it's not me. I promise there's a big truck down the street fixing because we have so many lightning storms, but I don't even think it's that I upgraded. So, so that is something maybe I should not have done. And thanks for the prayers. I appreciate your kind words. Um, those who have followed me for years um, outside of YouTube know that I give you as everything I can give you. And I love doing it. I'm passionate about teaching. I'm not trying to do you under, I just have an opportunity every Friday and I might change that in the future if we need to try a different day. But every Friday I'm doing an exclusive online lesson right here. And, and so you're basically paying about two fifty a lesson, $2 and 50 cents a lesson when you pay for the membership each month. So besides that, some people thought I ought to send paints and canvas for that price, but I can't do that because uh, this part makes it possible for me to keep doing this for you guys is to have a membership and it's an advantage. So that's the only thing that went up and, and, and those commercials did go up, but it's because they were programmed and, and made weeks ago and they just popped up. So it's not like I was on for those and not on for you because I am. Okay. So just that um, I have watched you for over 20 years and I've been really giving for those 20 years. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Judy. That's nice. Um, two free lessons on YouTube a week, free lessons from plaid flowers of the month, wreath of the month and now hometown. Yes. All that's free on YouTube from me. All right. So I just want you guys to know that and I'm not changing anything. I'm just adding some special perks for those who want to support me because um, for you, I have frozen periodically. Spontane All right. I don't know that word. <laughs> spontaneously. 
No, it's a different word. Anyway, sporadically. sporadically that's the word. <laughs> okay, so don't trip me up here. All right, so hopefully, as I'm doing the lesson, it I won't. Be that person, so. Yeah, that it won't keep. That it won't be choppy. All right, so um, you're doing good. Keep going. All right. <laughs> So, um, and also, by the way, for that nine ninety five, then if you go to onestroke.com, you get 10% with the code we give you each month that you pay, you get 10% off anything you order. And you also, I do live online lessons and you get 10% off those each month. So you pay for it in those other two ways uh, anyway. So I'm just letting you know that by having the perks. Uh, Thanks for reminding those that don't know what is available. Yes, thank you, Gilbert. That's so nice. All right, so this is what I want to share with you. Uh, have uh, done? Have I done gardenias? I have. I had this A to Z book that was published years ago, big book, and I have done all these different flowers. But I am working on some more. Um, Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live at 4 o'clock tomorrow. And on it, I'm going to share a new stroke study I'm going to do, which I think will excite a bunch of you. So just letting you know that. What's my favorite flower? What's made me famous is my rose. <laughs> but I love painting hydrangeas. I love, um, I just love flowers a lot. So I'm passionate about difficult thing to paint. And with my technique, it's the first thing you learn. So then you go, okay, show me some landscapes, show me some um, animals, show me some other um, things besides flowers, Donna. But um, I still, my go to flowers, the new stroke studies got me excited. I know. And I don't tell you that till tomorrow on my Facebook Live. All right. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of them painted in the morning because Mark and I just, created the concept of what it's going to be. So I'm anxious to show that to you. And so how about painting some flowers with me right now? Does that sound good? All right. So, and also the practice stroke that was due today that I, I didn't get to film is um, going to be the rake brush and feather rake brush, whatever you call it uh because di different people call it different things and then i'm going to do another brush next friday okay so let's get started and i love your thumbs up that means you're happy i'm on beautiful art for my high school art portfolio and their jewelry absolutely loved it oh, awesome that's great all right um, I'm a star. Oh, y'all make me feel good. I have had a really sad week because I'm emotional when I can't do what I commit to do. And so it's been really, it's, it's been a lot of tears around here, a lot of prayers. And I know God's trying to tell me something. But one thing I did was I just sat back and said, maybe today I need to rest, you know? All right. Uh, so... So just, I would still have people saying Monday night, I didn't get my, my zoom, my, um, online zoom class because it wouldn't let me video. I videoed it twice. I painted it a couple of times. I want you to see, these are the two, <laughs> two attempts that I painted and none of the videos worked and it doesn't show me that I'm not working. So I just did all the work. So I'm going to repaint it again tonight after we get through, I'm going to try to do it and see if it works. And then, then I can send it out to those who missed me last Monday night. I am, I also miss this Wednesday and this Friday. So I'm just letting you know that I wasn't forgive yourself, just relax. I know. Well, I don't know. I don't want you to feel like so many negative things came on. And so I want to keep positive and not talk about them, but show what I can do for you. So you want to do a flower with me? It's a, some pretty flowers for the season. Okay. So thank you for coming on. Thank you for your thumbs up. Makes me feel good. Makes me think that you're happy we're here. Uh, uh, three times is a charm. Really? <laughs> I owe you one of those. Uh, Mrs. Tangle, one of those pictures. <laughs> All right. So thank you so much. I'm going to go down to the 
to my gray mixed media paper. All right. And this is just because it's easier than having to do. Let me get the shadows out of here. It's easier than me having to do a base coat. Okay. So this is paper, art paper. And I want you to know I pulled out my multi-surface colors. All right. So it's folk art multi-surface. We're using my different brushes. Um, and we have all these brushes on onestroke.com. So we have signature brushes and we have the dark green handle brushes. And I'm going to pull a couple of these out so that we can, I got some smaller ones. So if you're wanting to paint with me or you can just watch this later, I'm going to put it up. So it's on here later. I mostly use flat brushes if you never watched me before. So I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, and I have put out, I'm going to tell you the colors as I go because it's hard for you to remember them all right now. Okay. So I'm going to have floating medium in the middle and I'm going to start out with my citrus green and my teal. So that's not our normal green, but that's a great green to use. All right. So I dampen my brush. I lay it. It's going to be an angle brush and this is a five eighths angle. All right. And that's a little big. I was trying to get a smaller one. Yeah, maybe. Well, those are the same. All right, let's see. Well, let's just keep that. All right, so this is the heel, this is the toe, all right? So let's take and get citrus green on the heel. So this part and the toe is teal, not aqua, but teal. Okay, we're going to dip in the floating medium and work this in. All right. So we also have the skill build, I mean, stroke study, big album that we just finished and we shipped them all out. And before they go to $99, I've got, I can still sell you one for $79. Is that wrong? Okay. I don't know what she said today, but. Whatever she said today, that's what it is. <laughs> well, if you watch YouTube, you can get it for $79.95 and you have to email Donna on the, the road. Donna on the road at hotmail.com. If you want that price, that's the only place you can get it by emailing me. <laughs> and then I've got my special husband in there who will make it happen for you. Okay. So Donna on the road at hotmail.com and you only have till tomorrow to get that price. Okay. So now we're going to, I want you to see that I'm going to go a little bit closer because I don't think you can see very well. Um, these, these brushes are signature brushes. And so they're my lavender and some of them have flowers. All right. Now I have these in stock at onestroke.com. Um, but the dark green set of brushes, plaid, the paint company on Amazon and us are out of the dark green handle. They're $16.95. We're out of that to what time of July, Mark? July 12th or, July 12th or whatever. But you can pre-order those with us. Okay. But... You're going to wiggle down the side and slide up. Now the dark green brushes come the 10 most used value pack brushes with Donna are, and these are really good brushes are 1695 for all 10. And then the signature brushes are more money, but there are 13 brushes that I use the most and they're high quality ferrules and bristles. And if you want to just have the best, that's what you would get. Okay. And they're both good, you know, good, better, best. <laughs> All right. So uh, the Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group is the Facebook group where we had the sales going on. All right. And that pretty color together. So look, we're going to push and slide. So I'm pushing the heel first and slide and the toe gives you a point. 
See that? It gives you a nice leaf point. How many of you have had problems with getting a nice point? All right. So look, push and stand up. So when I say push, I'm going to pull this. I'm going to pull it towards me. Look, you touch the toe on the stem, pressure, pressure, lift, 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 and slide to the toe. All right. And that gives you a nice, thin stem. Okay, into the leaves. All right. Gilbert. Gilbert's putting all that on there for you. Okay. Gilbert, you're wonderful. Thank you. All right. So I want to now come up with a couple of these other little guys. So those are the stems I'm going to put all my little leaves and stuff on. And I'm going to do a couple more leaves. Now, here's another way you can do it. You can dip white and then come over here to the citrus and work that in. And a little bit of medium. Only get the medium every once in a while and make a muddy mess if you don't. All right. So am I holding up? Am I freezing up? Am I doing okay? I'm just anxious to see. <laughs> All right. So watch this. We're going to go out here in out to a point okay so i'm going to come a little bit closer all right so watch this we're going to take the heel because you have control because it's thicker and shorter bristles and then you're going to wiggle and pull to a point so isn't that kind of fun i thought that was a pretty leaf i don't know what this leaf is I like a morning glory type leaf all right, so I'm going to go back here. I didn't get paint until now again. No more medium. All right, so let's get this brush. Another one of those leaves. So I wiggle to a point, pull in, wiggle to a point, and then flip, the, flip my art. Did you know you could turn your art? All right, so I'm going to come right here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love it when you guys come on and you're having a good time. All right. It feels good to finally be on after a week of trying to be on. All right. So isn't that kind of nice? That's pulling the teal stem in the middle. And here, let me try to pull the teal in there better. Nope. A little bit stronger. There we go. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Now, those are kind of fun leaves. Let me do... I'm going to go back again, a little bit of white, which means it's fresher foliage. Oops, sorry, there I am. A little bit of medium. You notice I've only put medium twice on there. Okay, so let's do this. Let's come over here and wiggle out and back. Out, it's a longer leaf. You see that? Now overlap right here, out, back, pressure. You see I'm putting pressure in here, and then stand up. And so you already have a lot of paint there, so we're just going to pull right through that. Okay. Now I think I need one more, and then we'll go and start putting some blossoms. So what I did over here is I want, what I'm thinking about doing over here is these little teeny vines over here. All right. And so I will have just a little bit of a leaf that isn't bloomed out yet. Kind of rolled up. They're not they're not fully what they want to be yet when they grow up. So see just a little bit. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to be on with you guys. <laughs> Please, I hope that it's going smooth and I'm not freezing. All right. Okay. So here we go. And here we go. All right, so see the little vines from there? So now this is the other leaf. I want to show you again that this leaf has more. I double loaded it so it's half and half. And I'm pushing down hard on the, t the heel. See, there's the heel. There's the toe. You want the toe to be the last thing that touches. So that means it's got a nice point. Okay. And look, if I don't like something I've done, I go back down and, oops, I did that upside down. 
and I pull it again. Okay. Now I lost that color a little bit. But guess what you do? You just stroke back over it. And you fix it. See that? All right, that's just going to be a little bit brighter. Stroke right over anything you don't like. But you have to get fresh paint before you do that, okay? All right, so I really don't want to put any more greenery on there. Um, and so after we get some big flowers and then what we will do is add some smaller leaves. Oh, thank you, Gilbert. Give me confidence, right? You got your binder today, Pat. Did you love it? <laughs> that was my idea. And then I stayed away from the office because it took five of them and they're making albums every day to make it happen. But that's okay. It's a good idea, wasn't it? <laughs> it's basically you guys have been asking, so I finally got it done. All right. So look at this. I'm going to come in here with, um, let's, let's put up a little bit of pink. Now, this is um, a 10 brush, and I'm going to, it's a 10 flat. And this is wicker white, some magenta. And then I'm going to come over here and get apple red, all multi-surface colors. So I know I need to say this a lot because they always say, ma'am, what kind of paint, what brushes? So I do say it, but I, I probably let some of it go every once in a while, but I'm pretty trained that I have to say those colors. All right. Welcome to the One Stroke Advantage. Rose. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's Rose. <laughs> Thank you, Gilbert. Okay. So, look, I'm going to take and wiggle little petals. All right. So, come join the Advantage group. If you join the Advantage membership, and it's up there where it says subscribe, it says join. If you join that, you're going to get an exclusive lesson every Friday at 4 o'clock starting July 2nd. So just sign up before July 2nd so that you don't miss out on what's coming up and what's new. And we have perks and all those are listed. If you go watch the, the little ads that um, we did on YouTube. All right. So I wanted that to kind of be a side view. So then I want to come in here and do another one. I think this red will really pop pretty on here and I'm what I'm doing is I'm pushing down I'm with my eyes are just watching that outside edge guys just watch the outside edge thank you for being on today and it's actually tonight okay so make sure you put thumbs up if you're liking what's going on and if you want to see more Okay, so two red, guys, two red flowers. Then I'm going to take my little brush. Let's see. Let's take, um, 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 there's a couple of smaller brushes I can get in here, like a six and a two and a script liner. Let's get them all out here. All right. So one of the things I've done is inside those, that's the center sometimes makes the whole flower. So I've taken the two flat. And I'm going to add some little citrus green in the middle. And it's going to give it life because it gets kind of dull on this gray paper there. All right. But you'll see why I wanted gray paper after I start doing some of my, um, some of the other strokes I'm going to do on here that are white. So I'm going to put a little bit of moon yellow. On this too look at this we're just going to put these little dots of moon yellow see how they pop all right and i'll be dotting some little white in there later but let's leave that like that all right so then also um there's a few more little green we're going to use teal a few more little green stems oh i think i'm going to get some citrus on here too one, two, makes a little bud. 
one, two, and then see the little buds that are growing up from there. And let's put a little, this is a two script liner. And I did inky and now I come in here and I do thick paint, okay? So that gives you a few little stems. All right, I'm gonna pull this stem because I wanna attach the flower. And some of these others are just little bits coming from underneath like a vine, okay? All right, so we put this first and then I wanna come in here, let's wash this brush off. Now the next thing I want, and I like to go up here high first. Hello, hello, thank you guys. All right. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do next. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of wicker white with the same brush, flat tin, and I'm gonna side stroke in the puddle of moon yellow. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come around here. I'm gonna do a side view of this one. See the jagged? So I'm up on the chisel. Let me put this on here again. I'm gonna get some wicker white. I've already got the moon yellow and some wicker white. See how I keep flattening it next to it? And then I'm gonna go just like this. Then I need more wicker white. See how I do layers? Okay, now to make it look like a carnation, look what happens. These are flower of the month. If you look at my Donna Dewberry with plaid crafts, this is my flower of the month is January or February, a couple, a couple segments ago on flower of the month. All right, so that's a side view. All right, and then we'll put green stems on the bottom of that. And then right in here, I'm gonna do a bigger one. All right, I keep picking up the white. Jagged. It's like zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Okay. All right. So I want it to be a ball of petals. All right. So there are some hanging here. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to put this here so y'all can see it too. I'm dipping the yellow and side stroking the white again. So look. See the zigzag? Look at that really close. All right. And I keep picking up the white. All right. More white. And this isn't thinned out. This is strong, thick white. Wicker white, by the way. Titanium white is pure pigmented. And then wicker white is a, a traditional acrylic, but we have it in multi-surface also. To me, I can't see a difference in color. It's it's the hide that you want. Okay, so what do y'all think about those two colors together? Aren't those pretty? All right, so thank you. I like that you like them. I love the hearts. I love the thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> That's nice, Melinda, the UPS, the Postal Service, everybody knows who you are. All right, so let's pick up white. I'm going to put um, over here by the red, I want to put some daisies in here. So I'm going to take the same brush, the 10, and if it's a bigger canvas uh, than this paper, this is 9 by 12, then you would use a 12, okay? So now let me show you. Let's get, let's get on top of it so my hand doesn't cover it. All right, so here's the top petals. I'm pushing down. Like here's going to be my center, okay? So what I want to do is push hard, lift, push, lift. More white. Okay, you can even do two strokes. One, two. I have a little split. All right. 
And then, like I can come over here, then I can make some bigger ones here coming down from the bottom. And you're pulling all of these up. See this? All of these go up to the center, towards the center, not out. All right. And that makes a big difference in how the petals look or how the flower ends up looking. So that's a pretty big one. All right. Let's put another one up here. So we're going to push and lift, push and lift. And I just like some greenery underneath and we can add more. We are going to add more. All right. So look, then we do a couple little short ones. And that won't, those, that makes it look like those are coming at you a little bit. Do you see that? And this is, you're looking at the whole center. Okay. So now what I need to do to this is I need to get my small scruffy. I should have pulled these all out, but I was just, oh, it's going to work. I'm going to, I'm going to, start filming okay so look we take the small scruffy and that's in my signature set okay and and my value pack it's the smallest scruffy a quarter inch all right and so i'm going to pounce here okay and then i'm going to get a little teeny bit of red all right what do you think okay so i'm going to come right along here and I want to turn a half circle, get a little bit more yellow, moon yellow. I get both colors again. Okay, so I'm gonna put the red in there and a little bit of the apple red in here, a little bit more. Okay, so isn't that nice? It pulls all the colors in, but then I'm gonna tap a little bit of white. Okay, and we're just going to tap a teeny bit of white on top of there. All right, see how that makes them bright? All right. Okay, so let's do, I'm going to stop really quick and take my um, six, or this is an eight flat, and I'm going to add a few little bright little greeneries in here. All right, so let's just take a little bit of this. And we are 30 minutes into this, so I'm going to hurry up and give you a fun little couple ideas here. All right. So I want to come in here with a few little stems. All right. Now, what's going to happen with these, you can do it two ways. You can pick up some teal and white. And I just want it to really stand out. So let's, let's do a little skinny foliage in here. And they give you the illusion of fern, but it isn't. Okay, so I want to be really close so you can see. All right. All right, so I'm going to keep stroking over here where I'm picking up little bits of white. All right, a little bit more white. So just different greenery makes a difference. And if they're petite and how the colors look with this. I'm also, while well, I've got this color all on here, I'm going to come to the bottom of this. Let's get a little bit of tail in there of this carnation, the side view. All right, so it's got, it's grabbed that little carnation and you can put some in there. These are all attached, so they're good. All right, so then there's this one little fun greenery here that um, I like to do, which has a stem and then little guys coming off of it. All right. And so what's going to happen with them is they're going to come here. I just want them made differently. So it looks like a different greenery. See, it looks a little bit different than that. More citrus and white. All right. So... 
So the little strokes that you put all together kind of gives you, looks like a leaf that's a brighter, lighter green. Okay, so see, they're just kind of fluffy in there. They make it kind of nice. All right, so I can come in here now and let's do a few of these little smaller flowers. And then I want to show you, where's my two script liner? All right, I want to show you, I'm going to get inky white. I put a little bit of water. I'm going to roll it in there. You liking it? All right. You make me happy. Okay. So look what happens here. I'm going to tap, tap, tap my little finger. So if you just dot each one, it won't look as free. All right. So let's do this again. All right. So tap, tap, tap my little finger. So it just barely touches. And it lets little teeny little white spots. All right, so if it gets too thin, that looks like it's getting a little too thin. Okay, I can put a few more. All right, oh, this is the one where it wasn't white enough, sorry. Okay, so see how that really softens those. All right, and you can put little dots around here of darker green. Um, and I should just stop. I want to show you. I can put little teeny dots of teal. Ooh. Okay, so let me show you a little trick. When it gets too thick like this, you just pick up thick white and you can come in here and dot some of that white on top of where you got carried away. All right, where I got carried away. Okay, so see, it just gives you a whole different look. All right, now I'm going to take this small brush and I want a cobalt little flower. So I'm going to pick up cobalt and... wicker white so see I pick up one color I dip this or I dip white and I come here and flatten it out all right thank you miss Barbara okay so look I'm going to come here and I'm going to do a little five petal flower where I can use a smaller brush and it might be easier but the larger brush, when you're trying to make a pretty petal, the larger the brush, the better it looks. Is that hard? <laughs> okay, so you could use a two, but then you're going to have a big ridge. And what happens is when you're listening to me and you're using this, this is a size. So look at all the pretty color that we have on this painting so far. And look, the gray paper in the background just makes it look richer. Okay, so I'm going to put a few little guys like this. And then I'm going to um, come up with my last flower. It's like a pink morning glory or some kind of a vine flower. All right, so those, see those need yellow too. See when you're looking at everything, all the pretty yellow, that touches of it. All right, so you're going to get thick moon yellow, and we're going to dot single dots in the middle of these. Okay. All right. Now, one more thing. Y'all want one more? <laughs> okay. One, this is something I really love, and where is the brush? Let's use, let's go back to... It's kind of like it's a trumpet flower, which I think you guys will think it's pretty. All right. So I'm going to dip some pink. I've got water on there. Dip the pink. By the way, if you're new and you've never seen me before, we don't use water. We use floating medium. Floating medium is a fluff inside paint with no pigment. Okay. So I'm going to come right in here 
and I want the darker pink to be on the outside edge. So I'm going to dip a little bit on the outside edge of floaty medium. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and let's do this little trumpet here. I'm going to go real close so you can see it. All right, so I'm going to come up here. Okay, so I'm pulling the white at the, I'm pulling from the white. See that? I'm pulling out. All right, so then what's going to happen, as I told you, I want to see this darker pink out here. Is that fun? Okay, so... So make sure you go check out my One Stroke Advantage uh, membership. It's $9.99 a month. And this class I'm doing is exactly the time, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Fridays. All right. So you're going to get a lesson each week for that price. Exclusive lesson. And... You get all kinds of other perks that you can read about when you go sign up. So please come join me. It helps me stay on and be able to do more for you guys. All right. So what I'm going to do to this, it's not looking like I want it yet. So when I look at flowers and seed pack book uh, catalogs and stuff, I'm always trying to mimic what it looks like. And you guys have the advantage of watching me create it as I'm doing it. So I haven't painted it before, but now I have. So look, we're going to come up here. A little bit of green. And that's a side view. It's not quite exactly what I want it to look like. But I'm going to show you. Let's do a couple big blossoms. All right. So the big blossoms, look, I'm going to dip the magenta in one corner of the 10 flat, pick up white, and if it's not moving well, I grab a teeny bit of medium on the magenta edge, all right? And we love the advantage. should be fun. I know I'm excited. Thanks for signing up. It's going to make a big difference of what I'm able to do for everybody in the future. I'd like to reserve more time to give you guys more. Okay. Always loving to hear what y'all want to see. So you see that pressure lift, pressure lift. Tomorrow at four is my live on Facebook. Tomorrow at four, I've got some brand new to show you. For big discounts, big, big deals on stuff that we have on Facebook. The special I'm showing you tomorrow is a $35 deal I do on Stroke Studies. You see now I'm chiseling in the center of each one of those. You see that? All right. I'm not going to take the time. This is supposed to be a fun, like, greeting card you do for somebody. And... So I'm not going to take time to do a ton more detail. I'm just going for the effect. But I could sit here and shade and highlight and make it way more than it is. Okay. See, I can come all along here with the chisel and get that trumpet effect. All right. And then all I have to do, let's come in here with the worker white and citrus green on the eight and i'm going to come right in here and help you see the trumpet let's go in here all right now you see this one's coming from here okay and this one's going looking down okay and then in the center to just finish that whole look, I'm going to put the moon yellow in here and in here. And see how that pops? 
All right. I've shaded it a lot more before, but I think we got it. I think we got it. So there we are. I'm just going to take a little bit. All right. This is 45 minutes. Thank you for staying on. I hope that you come back and try to paint it with me. Curly cues with a two script liner. This is my two script liner. So just remember, if you just got on, I have had technical problems all week. I've been in tears and traumatized by the techie nightmare going on. So I just want you to know that I did this to make up for the classes I mixed this week. I missed relax and paint, and I missed practice strokes. And I'm trying to be ready for next week also. But I want you to have a little little fun picture from now to then. Hope you guys, I'm going to leave it right there so you can do a screenshot. All right. And then you can enlarge it look closer. Do you recommend for beginners with no experience? You know what? Every Friday. So if you go and look at practice strokes on YouTube, practice strokes. I made that just for you guys because there's so many thousands of you that said, start me out as a beginner. So practice strokes, there's probably 45 or so lessons. They're 10 minute quickies, honey. And what you do is I'm teaching you this brush does this. This is how you clean it. This is how you load it. And so please, please go watch those. And people even say they sit and binge with them. So what you do as you watch my practice stroke and then you do homework by practicing for a few days and then watch the next one. So that's going to help you the best to learn how to do my strokes if you don't have somebody live. But I have so many instructors. If you go to onestroke.com that teach online that will maybe teach in your area. But if you want the on my onestroke.com, I have beginner sets that you can get video worksheets and paint and brushes and do the stroke studies. I mean, the um, not stroke studies, do the uh, practice strokes is going to make a big difference. I promise. So you go watch practice strokes and you go and then do my relax and paint. So if you watch me do a relax and paint or you watch this and you go, Oh my gosh, I want to do those flower petals. All of this that I'm showing you as petals and leaves, you can go, learn how to do on practice strokes. Okay. Thank you so much for staying on and watching. I so appreciate you guys. Remember one stroke advantage is just for you guys who want more. Okay. It's nine 95 a month and you sign up right where it says subscribe. It says join. And the reason I'm coming on today special is to let you know, guys know I didn't disappear. I'm here. It's just my technology is not working. So I'm trying somebody else's computer right now just to get this to you. Hope you like it. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Go to our Facebook group. It's Donna Dewberry's with an S official one stroke group. No. Yes. One stroke group on Facebook. Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook. We have sales twice a week. We have lots of fun chats and it's just a great uh, family and community of one strokers. Love you guys. Bye-bye.